Oh, weapon Something control. Let me go around that way. I there you are. Him. Did you, uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? I found them. But it's not good news. The Hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know, I should have seen this coming. The formation, it's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. There were a lot of Hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is, we cannot let the Hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the Hiss the fuck out of the formation. No. That is simple. No, no, oh, no. Oh, and I found a Hell file no. on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. I try. I'm not going back in there. I have to go. Me too. No. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Let's see what it gave us. The formation is a tall stone structure found in quarry site Beta. Beta only reachable by placing distinct tokens into the jukebox object of power. The formation's exact purpose is blank. But we can at least examine its relationship with the blank surrounding it. Measuring devices found trace evidence of blank, blank, all certain lines running from the formation to the blank. When examined properly, four direct ritual tethers were detect detected. Some form of sympathetic casualty connects the formation with the blank, which means, in theory, that when certain blank are performed at one, it will physically affect the other. I've been urged to note here that some individuals believe the formation responds to any fulfillment of purpose or desire in nearby individuals. Thought I would like to remind those individuals that we are the Parkis Neology Department, not the Power Feelings Department. I'm proud to report that my team was able to design, construct, and install a permanent detection system. These archers will help rangers identify when the casual tethers are active, allowing them to better blend. Remember, we've got this. Yeah, let's see Achti actually. We haven't been playing him. I've been for some time now. Ventilation. Ventilation. There it is. Uh maybe the power plant itself. Yeah, I think the power plant itself uh, is better. I don't well, I don't remember whether it has direct connection to the janitor's place. But I have to see Hakti. He's the only person that gives me normal missions. The janitor <laughs> missions. Okay, so Hakti I don't remember what this is. Okay, just something that they were acting up. Hmm. Can I to this show sounds? Nope. Maybe this ventilation is a hole. I can't remember. Wait. Ah, wait. It takes us higher. Yep. And Achti is on the higher level, so. Shouldn't go on to the, straight to the ventilation. I have fast travel. Oh well. near the janitor's office right now. Uh, ventilation, yep. They're here and uh, ventilation and janitor's office should be over here. Over here. Hello, I think it's a What's that? 
That's... You need to scrap that clean or there goes my reputation and honor. I'm already going, really? And then the good won't swing. Mm, okay. Okay, I'll go clean the mold for you. So I really don't want to go... Well, I'm lost again. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to the... Wait. Um... What's her name? Containment place. Oh. Not here. Over here. I'm fairly sure there is a better way to do this. I can wrap my head around it. It's over here? No, it's over here. I'm really glad that no one cares that I'm lying. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, let's see, it's in the containment. Uh, logistics. For the security and to the medical. Wing. And after that, we will go back the, for the ordinary AWE. Hopefully, it will work now. Yeah. Uh, turn around if I... nope. Try the head. Mm -hmm. And to the left here. Okay, I guess he didn't mean to clear the move per se. Oh. Nice. And two for the coast. Eradicate the moon. Okay. Pretty sure he meant that I that I need to kill the moon people. I'm going there. Wait, this is open. Right, right, I'm just like which means we can get in here. And I'm not this. And we can get this, this open. And which means we can get this open. I don't know why I would, we would do that. It doesn't save us any time. Mark Gibson, male, age 28. Returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending the patient for x-rays and... What the fuck is that thing? Got the first right out of him. Call Black! Get Marshall! What? Alien? That's something like an alien. Mold's gotten in here too? All right. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. I appreciate Axe's music. Oh, you're here, I swear. I can clean it. Oh, I'm sorry, Afi. I. It's at least where you're at. Okay, so I can destroy those nuts. Okay, there's another one. Oh, 
there's none over here. I think we have seen more. Here, but it's there. Let's throw it down. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ordinary AW and just not over here. Like, I hate you guys. This scares the hell out of me. Maybe now that we have this outfit, it will let us not here. It will let us do the thing. Program. Over here. Over here. Yeah. Tools on the other side. There, yeah. Okay, I remember now. There and there is a elevator right here. Yeah, that is. And I remember. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I remember. <laughs> Okay, 
now they are. They are active now, so we should see that they activated this place. Everything is as the average should be, so the game is not here. Yep. Now I think you are. Where is this place? By the way, is this New York City subway a place of power? We're going back home. Of it course we are. Okay, it started there and it's... never gone away. Rotate these tracks. Yeah, and it's probably down Maybe there. Maybe there's a thing. control panel nearby. Okay, it doesn't seem it. I might start descending. Okay. Yeah. Is there's got to be a way to rotate these tracks? Yeah, yeah, give me a second. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery of like 100 teensy, teensy tiny little boxes? Me, that's who. And you know what was inside each one? A single human tooth. Oh, it was with fairy. Okay, it's okay, so. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it. He's having the time of his life. It won't there. rotate. Something's blocking it. The other side. Just a bit slow. And the rest will follow.
just want to see where there's a helicopter. This is up right now. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah, we'll have to go back. Actually, if we find another control point, we can just let her back. Worst case scenario, I have to go. Wait, I'm supposed to be here? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not supposed to be here. We just came back. Yep. We've been here. It looks different because it's normal now. But that's all. Maybe that does the others. I don't know. Really. Let's go back to find them. Oh, yep. And at this point, I'm curious what's on the other side of the hand. Nope. 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 That's a ho oh oh. We actually went. What? What was that? No, oh, what was that? Yeah, but we can go over there, which means that was the right way to go. I did it. Uh. No. Yeah, that's the right thing. Why do I always have to go the right way and then be amazed that uh, I went the right way by accident? Nice thing. I'm so sure I was here. No, it, no. Okay, never mind. Somehow I. Mm. I don't know, it looks the same, that's the problem. That's why I'm so confused, because it looks the same. They look the same. The airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of Blank, Cincinnati. It is suspected to be connected to the blank AWE and is being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector brought here through the New York subway tunnel. Special access blank. More information on tunnel blank and links to urban legends center on go station, abandoned tracks and blank, see file 4521. The plane's black box is currently being evaluated for blank blank and initial readings have been taken by a research team, though no altered status has yet been detected. Thank you. Now I now I see this. 
Vague, that sucks. Ordinary AWS. AWS? No. AWE. I don't know how I managed to do that. Thank you. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. I went to school with Neil. Some kids call him Nosebleed Neil. Uh, luckily Neil Holzenberg missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom, likely Tom Barlow, missing. And his gang, Freddy, no, Freddy Cartwell, missing. Hugo, no one by this name was found in public records, but with him. We brought Neil to the dam to play. Extrapolate information. Unconfirmed existence of additional site designation house. Oh. Yep, I am fine. And, uh, does this gun react? You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Here's our first caller. Hi. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language caller at maybe 2 a.m. before stay left on your show. I'm sorry. It's just my brother lived there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. Good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. Your arrival hang in there, but Bill's voices are just um, a bit less settling. An AWE occurred in town of Ordinary, caused by an object of power, a side projector. Discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projector images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. On August 13th, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the but the team found the Faden children, who led them to the side projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. See interviews blank and prime candidate program files blank. <laughs> There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. 
We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. Jesse and me followed the dying monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. One of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dying monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately, promised to help. Jessie said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Additional slide, designation hand, is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranormal entity designation dog Neil. Okay, and I actually think this is a really good place to take a little break. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.